Hello and welcome in. Today I'm going to show you how you can check if your Apollo Twin will work with your Mac or PC. I have my unit in front of me, which is a legacy model. I'm going to start by flipping it over. I can see on the back that it's a UAD2 dual core model. On the back panel, I see the I.O. along with the communication port, which is a Thunderbolt connection. Let's do some research and find out the specs on this unit. Going online, I found an archive listing on zsounds.com. As I scroll down, I want to look for system requirements. Under system requirements, we can see that we need a Mac computer with a Thunderbolt port. We also see that we need a Thunderbolt cable and that it's a Thunderbolt 2 compatible connection. The next thing I want to do is look up my computer information. So I'm going to go up to the left hand corner, click the Apple icon and go to about this Mac. I could see that my machine is an Apple M1 Pro and that I'm running Mac OS Monterey. If I go to help.uaudio.com in the search bar, I can type Apple. I'm going to click on the first article in this list. This article lets me know about Apple Silicon compatibility. So if my M1 machine is compatible with UA software, and it looks like it is. The next article, Apple Silicon compatibility with universal audio devices, gives you step-by-step -step tutorials on how to set up security and also how to install the software for your given OS. Now let's talk about if we have a computer but we're looking for a new twin interface. We're going to go to uaudio.com audio interfaces Apollo Twin. We could see there's four offerings. Now say we have a Windows machine and we don't care about Thunderbolt or Mac. The two options on the right are the ones we want to look at. The one on the top right is newer so let's click on that. On this page the first thing I'd want to do is look at the I.O. So I'm going to scroll through the pictures. I could see it's a two in, two out interface and it's a USB 3 connection. The next thing I want to do is find system requirements. So I'm going to keep scrolling down past the plugin information and past the feature information all the way to the bottom of the page. I'm going to click on this link here and on the next page I'm going to scroll down and I want to find the link that says Apple desktop USB system requirements. Once we get to this page we can see there's lots of useful information. It shows us we need a PC with USB 3 or 4. We need to be running Windows 10 or 11 64-bit edition and our USB cable needs to be 3.0 or higher. It also says we need at least 25 gigs of storage although 100 is recommended and then it shows us what kind of processor we need. It recommends a quad-core processor for optimum DAW performance and also has a related article for how to optimize your settings in Windows for UA devices. Further down we have other compatibility notes. Two-in-one systems are not recommended. If your computer does not have USB 3 it may not be compatible. Older Windows systems like Windows 7 for example are not supported. And using something like Apple's Boot Camp or virtual desktop software to run Windows on Mac is not supported or recommended. And that's it guys. If you got value out of this video, please like it and subscribe to the channel. And click the bell notification so you don't miss future videos like this. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.